More than likely, he hasn't seen it because the dude... So, if they've got any brains at all, and maybe a computer in the office, I'll type my name in and see what happens. Well, maybe he didn't, that's why he changed his mind. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yes. <laughs> but, of course. But what happens is he gets his envelope, which has got the Pope statement in it, calling me the saviour of the world. Salvatore Mundi. I'm only going to get one. Right? Has anyone else stepping up to the plate to be called God and guaranteed by the Pope? <laughs> Francis Lucifer. Yeah, so Francis. This is knows. where we've drawn like a like a pulp what what Hitler said. You want to expose the maggot and you draw it out. The and the one that becomes Pope is Lucifer. Mm. Mm. Yes. Okay, so moving right along, back to our ripping power PowerPoint. At this moment, Pope Benedict is in hell, a prisoner of the Antichrist Pope Francis. Now Let's bring up. Oh, where did that go? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, still missing. That's why you're not that. saving it to the disc. That's why I can find oh, it. Oh, okay. It directly it's just... in the player. All right. Here we go again. Oh, well, I'm wearing the red boots. And see, this is where Andrea is instructing us, please do not publish it yet. Your grandmother has asked you, please do not publish it yet. Publish it. <laughs> Anna, you see what I have to... <laughs> you give me the weapon, I guess. <laughs> yeah. It's a weapon, darling. It's going to be found out. Anyone, ha yes. everyone has to know yes. by now that yes, anything, yes. any files or anything you send will not no be secrets. guaranteed confidential. Yes. Nothing. And, and I think Andrew, no she secrets. says, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. Well, perhaps she's now got used to, and the overwhelm has is now given way to Yah saying, well, just do it. <laughs> well, I told him the grandmother. Yes. Two yes. Years ago. There, here we go. Look. Well, what's a surprise? Here, look, look, <laughs> look at this, guys. Watch, watch, watch. This is uh, Joseph Ratzinger is Andrea Anna's grandson from her previous life as Anne, the grandmother of Jesus and Simon Peter. She was the one who conceived being barren. Mary, her daughter, the mother of God, was the Immaculate Conception. Twice. Twice. Look at this. You, you can't tell who's who. One more time. To the story of Anna. Now she was barren at now. Yes. Anne was Forty barren. Days in the wilderness. And Joachim, her husband, was the temple priest. And it was regarded as a, a um, displeasure from God toward Anna because she was barren, childless. And so Joachim, her husband, spent 40 days fasting in the wilderness and praying for Anna to conceive, and she did. She conceived Mary, the mother of God. So it's all marvellous. Now, back to... So, Andrea Anna is the grandmother of Joseph Ratzinger, Pope Benedict the Sixteenth, and, of course, she's been the heroine in all of this to get communication going in the first place, and now he's been held prisoner by the Antichrist Pope. Francis. So this PowerPoint is moving along. Uh, this house here in Tugum, Queensland, has several miracles of location and those familiar with how Yahweh measures the earth are often taken back by the perfection of the locations that he reveals. From the solar eclipse of January 25, 1944, to his rebirth location at 105 Rothschild Avenue, Rosebury, Sydney, is a distance of 8,888.8 miles. 888 being the Greek gematria for 
Jesus. This house is also 7,706 nautical miles from that same solar eclipse location and 7706 means Almighty God in the Hebrew strong concordance of the 1611 King James Version of the Bible. Tugum is also to uh, the rebirth location, 973 kilometers, and is the total occasions that the name Jesus is found within 942 verses. Now, while we were setting up clinics in Fiji, a Hindu priest, you remember Raj, working as a watchman, his angel prompted him to come down and visit us. He was actually asleep. He said he was asleep when his angel woke him up and told him to come down to 12A. <laughs> Over three days, he would come and go and, and stay an hour or two or three or four. <laughs> and um, as he chatted and talked about many things, asking questions and watching Yah's face, he uh, came to the conclusion that Yah indeed was Kali, the Hindu god, predicted to be made known at this time. Then some weeks later, we went to the large island north of Suva and we arrived and stayed at a resort called Mumu, owned by Rosie, the lady from the Philippines. We established a second clinic and then had some spare time. <laughs> star above on the ferry. Oh, yes, the star above as we got on the ferry to go to Moo Moo Resort was the star Moo. And you, hello. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so we had spare time because we, we were caught doing things we shouldn't do, as in healing people and had been warned after a one week investigation, you can stay as long as you don't do anything. So little did they know. Anyway, um, so Young was working on his computer and in his CD collection was an old Magellan CD installation disc called Map Send Light. Sounds like milk, doesn't it? Light, milk. Anyway, <laughs> it was years old and he had never installed it. It was an introduction that had to be paid for online and he didn't have a credit card so it didn't get installed. So to his surprise, this time it did install. And usually they, um, the installation would open over the USA because that was the country of origin, the manufacturer's origin. In this install, it opened over the small island of Sri Lanka. Now, Yah had been there when it was called Colombo in 1963, and it's off the coast of India. Previously in Nandi on the big island... Oh, God, thank you, <laughs> On the big Isle of Fiji, the Hindi priest told... Yeah, he told us the story of Noah's Ark. He said it was on the island that the raven that was released from the ark, it representing Satan, um, the dove returned with the olive branch, but uh, the raven stayed and the remained. Raven is me. Mm. So the hood when it gets there, right? So then the dove shows up. No, it comes back with the olive branch. But the, the raven remained on Colombo. So the story was that nobody was to be was to settle there because the spirit of the devil would enter into whatever human beings settled on the island, of course. It did. It did. They did. Now, when Yah uh, measured the rivers on Sri Lanka, he discovered that the 11 longest rivers averaged 88.8 .8 kilometres long. And then he began an intensive investigation of the mountains and island location, coastline length and so on. The following slide is the coordinates he had first discovered when zooming in to the location in Sri Lanka. Now, you see there the dot Colombo as we go in further. This is what was in the map send light as it installed. Um, seven waypoints there. We'll get closer. I'll read from top left there. 3069 PYR, Foots PYR, Vic PYR, and then over to the right from the bottom going up. 5813N, South SP, then Colombo, and then 3168 ARC, ARC, and then 107726SP. Well, I've been there in a taxi. These are all the locations to the bloody jewelers. I want to go see the elephants from. <laughs> <laughs> Kept on going to be, I oh, guess, wouldn't know where to find It takes out the bloody next jewelry store. Right? So I end up. So no, thank you very much. I can buy these jewels here. I need money from the boat. So he takes me back to the boat. Right? I go on board the boat and go to bed. <laughs> right? But then the ship sails off. So. <laughs> He's waiting on a dock for his money. <laughs> <laughs> I was questioning about if I was first. Yeah, put a bit of the other stuff in it. Just rid of Percy suddenly. Okay, so moving right along. These are the uh, waypoint latitude and longitudes. 
The one at the top there is Ararat. It's not amongst the seven. It's another one off, of course, at Ararat. But the other are that group of seven. They are their coordinates. So let's move right along. Now, 3069, you'll see the uh, fifth one down there, 3069 PYR. 3069 is the Hebrew number for God. And it is, now, the way it's, it's, it's <laughs> that's the at sign there, but that's the way it is in the, Concordance Dictionary in Hebrew. Yahovah. Yeah, it's Yahovah. Yahovah, actually. Uh, pronounced, yeah, right, 3068 and 136 as the same sound, um, which is God. Now, in the list of Sri Lanka waypoints is one name, it's actually VCYPYR, Vicky Pier, PYR, as in pyramid, which measures. 1,618 nautical <laughs> miles to a city called Victoria, which just happens to be the capital of the Seychelles, and the Seychelles, a group of 115 islands. So the 1,618 is the Fibonacci number, which is 1.618, the golden mean, the source of all life, and 115 is the English Jamatra for Yar's name, Go Lightly. This is just getting warmed up. <laughs> now, in, he, he warns, in the next slide I appear to be off tangent. Hello. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but no, it is the number 3069 being the number in Hebrew for God. <sighs> yes, yeah, so we go from that to the next slide, which is a check given me in my hand writing that I filled out after I told the evil man my uncle was head of the taxation department and would be very interested in the $250,000 in kickback money for a massive contract for the phone company owned by the government. Uh, so that was... Um, yeah, but Telstra, right? Telstra, yeah, yeah. yeah. This was very common in 1988. He had told me, boasting, he wanted to spend the money, pay cash and avoid tax, and I suggested a friend would give him receipts on the sly. Now, the check is made out to Yar's wife, P. Marshall. He changed it from B to P and initialed it. And there it is there, P. Marshall, initialed, and 24050.00, but he actually made it out for 4050, um, seeking to defraud him of hold back $20,000 because so he could get away from it. Yes, that's it, the initials over the top there. Okay, so on January the 10th, the day before his birthday, 45th birthday, it was cashed. And the 4050 was changed to 24050 because that was the amount owed and the guy was trying to rip him off by $20,000. So, the same man wanted him to hire equipment when required and his company would pay the rental a tax deduction to be hired from Coates Hire and he would return the equipment and pay the bill. When the work was finished, the original deposit check that Yah had left, you know, the, no credit card in those days. He had filled out the rental for $306.94. That check was dated October the 11th, 1988, which was Yah's mother's 76th birthday, she being Daphne Go Lightly. Now, the property where Coates Hire, this is the hire company, there should be an E in there before the S, had its business, was previously owned by Yar's uncle, Robert Golightly, <laughs> and he had visited and played on the property this as a child. four million houses <laughs> people live in Sydney. Yes. <laughs> this is the very one. But that doesn't end there. This goes on forever. Yes, so there's the amount, 306.94, and the date, 11th of October, 1988, Daphne's birthday. So unable to find the businessman for his final payment, since he needed to cover the Coates hire check, it bounced. Uh, what is it? Not sufficient funds. And finally, when he was paid, he went back to pay the coats hire and pay the bill. And then the amount for the NSF was $6.50. So adding the two together uh, for a total of $313.44. However, he paid the $6.50 in cash. So what have we got? We've got 3069, which is Hebrew for Jehovah. And the NSF bank charge, adding the two together, 31344. And 3134 is, <laughs> first of all, it's the distance to the South Pole where Michelle Knight, who is Mary Magdalene, was reborn. 
Hello. <laughs> Michelle and I, Mary Magdalene, is as thick as two short planks, and her birth date identifies her sister Martha, 9.42 years younger. Jesus is also the Jesus birth total. Who is Asher? That's me today. The new Pope was sworn in on Michelle's birthday, March 19th. 2013. So we've got the Antichrist sworn in on. On the Antichrist. On, on, on. Even her birth date is in the blade Denver. <laughs> yes, huh? the Denver uh, 2000 foundation suit. Uh, no, no, 1994, March 19th. So the Antichrist foundation stone. <laughs> oh, oh, Here we go. And 3134 is Maranatha Greek, like anyone be accursed who has no love for the Lord, our Lord comes. So it's the coming divine judgment of the Lord has already arrived, and anybody who has no love for him is accursed. So Francis is accursed, and all those who have no love for Brian and Lego Lightning Man, Marshall, are accursed. I got the letter to prove it. There you go. <laughs> now to Egypt. Two point, sorry, 24.24 miles south of the Great Pyramid and 7,777 nautical miles from Yah's rebirth location is Cairo. No. Is that, that spot? It's south of Cairo. South of Cairo. 24.24 miles. Okay, all right. All right. So it's a spot south of Cairo where our no, disciples... South of the pyramid. South, all right. South of the pyramid. <laughs> to get Cairo. Well, why have you got Cairo in there? <laughs> because that's where our disciple, our newfound disciple from Canada, told us he had been for five years and uh, he told us the information about the area where bees uh, were found in a shaft in this particular latitude and longitude. And he said that when looking at them, the only way he could describe them was that they were chrome, chrome bees. And he showed us a ring that they make rings with these chrome or well, silver bees uh, inlaid in the looks like onyx or something. But, yeah, but, and that's, so, he said what was unusual, these were chrome, like bullets whizzing about. Later, a researcher disclosed more information, a drawing of the Fibonacci spiral laid over the area, area beginning from that point. So. So the queen owns all the bees. This, yes. Mm. So whoever's the king owns the bees. And that's why you see bees and beehives, a lot of Freemasons. And, that's right. Now. That means all the beehives are yars. And remember when we talked about this earlier, I said the JCDC part of the bee DVD? I used to say, what's, what's the bee, with the bees? Bee DVD. What's with the bees? What's with the bees? Remember the double, double, the double, double D with D. the bees? Oh, double D is the bee and bees, what's with the bees? And uh, I found right. you and you had four bees, bee, 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 bee. And my family lived in four different areas all starting with bee. So what's with the bees? Well, it's all about the bees because this is the Fibonacci no, but here it is. It's its location. It's a Samson riddle too. Oh yeah, honey. All right, there it is. So that red dot there measures seven, 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 seven nautical miles to Yah's rebirth location, and two four point two four nautical miles from the pyramid. Very important place, and we just found out about it today. This location prompted this PowerPoint. Now it's the last yeah, piece of the Bring it up on the uh, on your mail. Show what it looks like, the area, what they've done to it. Oh, yes. All right, we'll go right over to. What are you actually looking for? I'm looking for the photograph of. Uh, here it is, this one here. Wow. This, is, this is the that site that we're talking about. You can see the pyramids in the background. Can you blow it up? Mm. So what is it, a dump? Looks like it. It's like it, doesn't it? Oh, look, this is dead animals. These are bones. Carcasses. Yeah. Well, bring bring the, uh, can you bring a picture out for a bit? No. I can you wait. capture it then? Do a print screen. Yeah. That's the first one. Now open you up your bit, man. Oh, you're just loving this, aren't you, babe? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Paste. Open a new bit, map up. Say, go back to bitmap. 
And zoom in, what do you think is bones and cactuses there? There. Yeah. Okay, get your picture, get your zoom up. Ah. Uh. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Right, go in. Oh, yeah. Good Lord. It is, it's all. There's a bloody hippopotamus, look, it's no, on to the uh, right. Look at this. Zoom in, hippopotamus. What a disgrace. This is what they that's why you know that is where the point has to be. The most evil, fierce, filthy, foul, disgusting thing that will do to keep you off scent. So you wouldn't go sniffing through there, would you? No. So that's where it is. That's a hippopotamus. Mm. <sighs> All right, uh, get out of this one. Right. Now, um, I actually want to get rid of this one, don't I? Yeah, just put it away. Okay. All right. So we saw. Yeah. All right. Moving right. So we, we can travel by those numbers there, where that spot is, and that's exactly what it is. Seven 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 Northern Wells. Now it's also the same distance from the pyramid to where I got baptized, and they got ripped me off, or tried to rip me off, till they asked Martin for twenty grand. That was a Freemason fellow, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm. I lured him because he had his mates check me out, and I was already a counterfeiter. So he had to go for it. He was going to go to all those harlots and carry on and go to Europe and all the brothels. And the he was married with three kids. He was going to have some fun with my money. Mm. So then I'm tricking with my uncle, who's the head of the tax action department, which he was. Rich Blight, Rich uh, Benson. He's a Jewish, Hey, how are you? Here's my uncle. Go ahead, make my day. <laughs> okay, so the Fibonacci is 1618 or 1 1.618. And we find in the Sri Lanka waypoints that was in the Maps and Light program, the location is not a random accident. For example, Yahweh's home on Nell Street in the suburb of Greensboro, Melbourne, Victoria, has several wonders. Now the 107726 number to the South Pole is 5,813 nautical miles. So this is the bottom number here on the waypoints. It's actually 5813.6. But now there's a reason for that. That's the distance in kilometres that Mill Street is. Yes. The same number in Columbia. Which the distance around Nell Street, when you walk, it goes like that. Like that one. The distance at the centre of the road with a GPS is 888.8 metres. <laughs> <laughs> now, so the 10772.6 number to the pole is 5813 nautical miles. Now, King Charles I was born. 107726 days before Yahweh. And the diagonal of the pyramid is 1077.26 feet. So it's 10772.6 kilometers to the South Pole, being the 51. Sorry, 5813.6 nautical miles. And the distance from the Nell Street location is 5813.6 kilometres to the South Pole. Then we have the waypoint, the 3069 waypoint, meaning God, and 3069 nautical miles to the Great Pyramid, which is the altar of God, the altar of the Lord in the midst of Egypt, Isaiah 19, 
verses 19 and 20. So Ararat, now we've got to Aramat, Ararat, Aramat, Ararat. <laughs> so you've got Ararat over there and then you've got the 3069 PYR point in Sri Lanka measures 3168, 3,168 miles. And of course, this is the Lord Jesus Christ in Greek, Gematria Lord, 800 plus, Jesus 888 and Christ 1480, add them all together and it's 3168. Now, the distance to the South Pole from the Nell Street address is 5813 kilometres. That number is the height of the Great Pyramid altar to the Lord, the pyramid that we're talking about, with the rejected capstone in place. The height of it is 5813 pyramid inches. Now, getting back to Ararat, <laughs> 3168 Lord Jesus Christ, and is the location of the Ark of Noah, Noah's Ark. Now, Yahweh's deceased brother, born in Sydney, when the sunrise to sunset was 780 minutes the day he was born. 780 is and Ararat nine, seven in Hebrew. Later was the moonrise. <laughs> 197 is Brian Leonard Marshall and the atomic weight of God. So the word Ararat had appeared in the maps and light in the software. You've got the seven in Sri Lanka and one over in Ararat that all appeared in this maps and software that had not been installed before. So, so the next slide shows the number 3168 miles to the waypoint Ararat, which is on Mount Ararat. So it was angelic and therefore intentional. It's spelled with two T's, not a one T and one S. <laughs> <laughs> Three one six eight, Lord Jesus Christ, eight hundred eighty eight eight plus fourteen eighty. And here it is. So we've got from the three zero six nine point on Sri Lanka up to Ararat is three one six eight nautical miles. Lord Jesus Christ, isn't that marvelous? Now from the highest point on. Mount Ararat to the Ararat Waypoint. This is the one that opened up in the Max End Light. In Sri Lanka. It's, it's a, it, yeah. No, 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 no. You've got the seven down in Sri Lanka and then Ararat where Ararat is. So they're separated. Hmm. So this is, so you've got from the highest point on Mount Ararat to that point that opened up measures 16.18 miles. So which, which is the Fibonacci number mm. again. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> so why and where is it all leading us to? Well, it leads to the Seychelles. And the name of the capital of Seychelles is Victoria. This has been the missing... The seventh point we couldn't find is that Vic PYR. Mm. This is, this is, so this is all, thank you, Gabriel, the coordinates... It's victory PYR. Yeah, victory yeah. PYR. Yeah, victory PYR. And and this is the answer to the we've arrived at this point in time where we have the whole picture. Thanks to yeah, I Gabriel. did a job for a guy from Seychelles, and he told me that uh, when he was there, that uh, he observed a, a a series of huge men followed by giants walking along. Hundreds of them walked down the street and passed him. Right? He said, just shut up. And then other times he said, there'd be something to go across out of the jungle on one side. So it spooked him so much he'd have to come to Australia. Mm -hmm. So wow. he left paradise to come to. <laughs> but it's just paradise. Yeah. But that's the kind of thing that goes on. Now, in the... Imagine someone nine for tall water past you when you're a kid. Yeah, you don't see that every day. Mm. That's round up. So in the... Um, List of Sri Lanka waypoints is one named V I C Y P Y R, which means which measures sixteen eighteen nautical miles to a city called Victoria, which happens to be the capital of the Seychelles. Now, the Seychelles itself is a group of one hundred and fifteen islands. So you've got the Fibonacci number and one one five. Of course, is the English gematria for the Go Lightly name. Now, getting back to Ararat, it's the highest point. I went over it with a cursor and got the highest point. Like a yeah. Point. All right, All so right. this is the distance uh, from 
Mount Ararat's highest point, so Yahweh found this, and that other one that we saw first was the point where it uh, opened up in the map's end. Distance of 16.18, the Fibonacci number again. So we have a waypoint way named Victi. Mm, did I take it out? Was there a T in that? No, oh, anyway. Victi, no. P-Y-R. No, therefore, it is there for a reason. We measure to Victoria, and the distance is also the Fibonacci number. 16, 18 nautical miles. So we have many pointers to the life force of creation, the Fibonacci number. So there's the 1618 to Victoria on the Seychelles from the point in Sri Lanka. Now, oh, Cornwall, look at that. Where's Cornwall? <laughs> Right. Now the next distance from Cornwall, UK is the address Travone Road leading out of the town of Padstow. So this is in the UK. Selecting the most northern point, then measuring to the home that Yahweh inherited from his father, which was located at number 7 Travone Street, Padstow in Sydney, and the distance is 1072.6 miles. Now, the money from the sale of that home after uh, when it was all settled was spent in taking the cures for all diseases, AIDS, malaria, diabetes, etc., into Papua New Guinea twice and Fiji twice, establishing the clinics there. And so that number is the diagonal in feet with the capstone in place of the altar to the Lord in the midst of Egypt, 1077.26 feet. This marvellous synchronicity that uh, people are just loving. So bottom right corner is uh, in Sydney, Australia, Travone Street, Padstow. And the outer area, top left, is Travone Road in Padstow, Cornwall. There is the measure. Yarns yeah, playing around and now cutting and pasting to drive people nuts. <laughs> Because he made a typo underneath it. <laughs> oh, told here we go. I'm supposed to debunk it. Oh, okay. All right. Well, here we go. Here's the uh, synchronicity of these numbers: one zero seven seven two six days between his birth date and Charles the First's beheading. One zero seven seven point two six feet, the diagonal of the completed pyramid, and one zero seven seven point. Oh, here he goes again. Uh, you've got you've got one zero seven seven two point seven miles, and I didn't catch it earlier. Oh, anyway, it's supposed to be one zero seven seven two point six miles, being the distance between Travon, Cornwall. Plus miles. No, no, seven, six, six. No. Sorry, it's just a. Do, do don't worry. A bit of on the fly editing. Yeah. Well, no, it's all right. No, <laughs> don't do it now. Typo, typo. Oh, so, I think people are getting it by now. <laughs> now, the location, the latitude of the Nell Street address, the circumference around the Earth at that latitude is 31,680 kilometres, which of course is the 3168 Lord Jesus Christ, Greek gematria. So now we're going completely off topic, the tangent that Yara always takes. <laughs> Next, we look at the 1,000 feet high white pyramid, Xi'an. What's the OV? Is that no, supposed no. to be on? Yeah. Is that supposed to be on? In. I think it should be. In. Okay. <laughs> of course. It's, it's yes. in. in the a, the in O is right next to the I, I. <laughs> and, and, and the V is two away from the it's N. It's in. <laughs> the Egyptian fingers. Okay. Egyptian fingers of. In Xi'an. Now, oddly, the Chinese government decided to cover the Chinese pyramid with soil and plant trees to hide them from European visitors. European visitors. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's getting better. The reason is pretty macabre. The locals tell stories about who built them, stating that they were huge white U European-looking men came and carried out the work. They were tall. White men, you know, white skin, full beards, yellow to curly red hair, but my colour, <laughs> blue eyes. They taught medicine, astronomy and mathematics. 
Then when they left, they headed eastward. <laughs> so it's the same story of the Mayan pyramids and the um, Easter Island statues, et cetera, et cetera. We're getting used to the plot by now, aren't we? So here we go, repeating, looking at the 1,000 feet high white pyramid of Xi'an, China. Okay, covered over with soil planted trees. Now, its distance means to cover with soil. Let's, let's take a look at it. There it is there. So you're measuring to the Great White Pyramid, right? Yes, that is the Great White Pyramid. Yeah, th yes, but... No, you measure to the Ararat. Oh, measuring to... So, so the Great White the... Pyramid is the one in Xi'an. Yeah, okay, fine. and we're measuring to... We'll get to it. Right. All right, so now we go back to the Maps and Light with this program. We can select an area, any three or more points, and it will calculate the area. So the area within the Ararat point, the White Xi'an, 1,000 feet high pyramid, and the Sri Lanka waypoint of 3069, since that number means God from <laughs> Yehovi. So from the Ararat waypoint to the White Pyramid, the Chinese government covered with soil. The distance is 2643 miles. That number is calf and it means innocent and covered from soil. <laughs> it was covered in soil, but in, in when you go to the well, we can pull it up here, look, see what it says. It's, it's quite weird. Here it is here. Calf, innocent in the moral sense of covered from soil. <laughs> Hello. Well, I took the soil from the rounding area, which is farmland, mm. and covered it. Mm. So it was covered from soil. Yes. That's straightforward, no doubt. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> now, oh, hon, what's atonement? Atonement. Atonement. Yeah, I know that. But <laughs> Don't bring attention to it. <laughs> so, in Greek, atonement. It means atonement, <laughs> not atonement. Restoration. <laughs> and to restoration to the divine favour or and reconciliation. Never forget it. <laughs> reconciliation. Then from the White Pyramid, Jian, to Ararat, it, oh, here we go, is 5624 kilometres. Hello, where have we heard that before? That is the total number of words in the Greek James Strong's Concordance Dictionary. For the KGB 1611. Now, from Ararat to the Sri Lanka, number 3069, measures 3168 miles, being Lord Jesus Christ, Greek Gematria. Here we go, 3069, Hebrew is God. Now, this area in inside is Ararat over to the White Pyramid, China, down to the 3069 point. In Sri Lanka, the area inside is 8080.5 nautical miles, or that's oh, sorry, that's the length. That's the length. The area is 3069505 square miles. 3069 meaning God, and the 505 it means 1000. And of course, <laughs> the pyramid over here in China, the White Pyramid, is a thousand feet high. That's <laughs> also God. And. Yeah, 808 is 100,000, it's all the same. Yes, Ayish, meaning foundation. So this, this is the distance here, which meant covered with soil, and this distance here, Lord Jesus Christ. Ah, here we go. There are those points again. Now, Yara on occasions has demonstrated the deliberate alterations to Google Earth which eliminates measuring the Earth and how it proves God. Each time they have made greater problems, then had to make corrections. Presently for distances within the US are pretty reasonable but not so south of the equator and the only way to measure accurately is with Magellan software. Short distances, however, will do. Now this is part of uh, another PowerPoint that we've run into but this is a reminder Again, this house where we are at Tugum, measuring to the Kingfisher Resort we were at a couple of weeks ago, 
38.75 kilometers as the crow flies and that of course is the word comforter. Now it was um, 3877 to the resort office and that's the verse total for the word God. Four, 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 three times the word God in 3877 verses. And of course 3877 was the distance from the hospital that Yah was born into, measuring to the South Pole in nautical miles. So 3875 being comforter and the God verse total at this address right here, 103 North Shore Avenue, Tugum, Queensland, Australia. There you have it, another ripping yarn. Fabulous PowerPoint. Well, there is more. Not on this one. <laughs> Maybe I can think some up. <laughs> Later, Gail. We've got to watch a movie. <laughs> oh, you, did you, read, you, you did your red shoes? Yes, no. uh, uh, okay, this, this is for Dave again, the red shoes. And Joel, somewhere after the red shoes, you're going to have to upload the pizza. This is all for Dave. Right. Okay. And uh, thank you, Gabriel. Andrea, Andrea and the Pope. And Eric, you did an amazing job doing that overlay for Andrea. Just truly astonishing. I hope you've got over you being overwhelmed, Andrea, because it's it's gone public now, thanks to you. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you, Granny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else to anybody else? Got any more dough? <gasps> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I knew it. It's almost like it. <laughs> anyway, just... Uh, <laughs> Everybody doing a great job at the battle we've been fighting. It's um, still getting even more interesting. Let it go.